Stoltenberg urged Yerevan to sign a peace agreement with Baku as soon as possible. During a joint briefing with Armenian Prime Minister Ikol Pashinyan on March 19 in Yerevan, the NATO Secretary General said that today Armenia and Azerbaijan have a chance to achieve lasting peace. An original thought, isn't it? Who knows how the peace process would have played out had it not been actively hindered by pseudo-mediators. NATO supports Armenia's sovereignty territorial integrity, and its peaceful aspirations," Stoltenberg said. Pashinyan responded by reiterating his readiness to establish relations with Azerbaijan on the basis of just three principles, instead of the required five. Again he waved the Alma Ata declaration like an exorcist waving a crucifix. Pashinyan stressed the importance of strengthening his country's defense capacity complaining that his delusional idea of a bilateral withdrawal of troops was not taken seriously in Baku, not mentioning his sucking up to Stoltenberg because of Armenia's cooperation with Iran. Pashinyan also dreamily mentioned his country's readiness to establish relations with Turkey, apparently hoping that Washington would persuade Erdogan not to coordinate the coveted normalization with Baku, but in vain.